I know that you guys pretty much got him with us, so, you know, it's only fair to show you guys what he's going through. Hey, what's it got to do? Devin crew, I was I forgot all about videoing, but I guess when you're in the moment, yeah. um, we're at the vet right now with little Capone and. Are you looking at that, that one? No, um, it's message. Yeah. Okay. No. Message. Message. The number that she gave me. No. Yeah. I don't know. The nine one seven three six. The biggest concern, ma'am, is that the I was just talking to the doctor and I mean the vet's pretty oxygen dependent, so concerns are going to be if you take the vet home that. There's no guarantee that we won't make it. Through the night? Because of the severity of the case, um, they said that we're pretty oxygen dependent, so we're in oxygen currently right now. Oh. And that's what the doctor was going to come in here and talk to you about. They're currently not talking to the manager to see if there's some other solution you're going to come up with. Um, but that's where we're at right now. Oh my god. Because mm -hmm. the next, next step would be if we're not finding what's the treatment, things like that, talk about other options. Okay, Another thing is non cardiogenic pulmonary edema, which just means some dogs after trauma, uh, the one I see it most for is dogs that chew on an electrical cord, but for whatever reason, they just start getting fluid around their heart, uh, mm -hmm. in the lungs around their heart. And again, that's one thing that there's not much that we can do. We try to do a medication called furosemide to help pull extra fluid out of the body, and that works good for cardiogenic pulmonary edema, but not non-cardiogenic. So it's something that we still kind of throw at them to try, but it's kind of a matter of time until the body can get everything out. So we're usually looking at 24 or 48 hours on oxygen. You know, if we're really cutting it close, we're talking 24 hours, and if he's breathing a little better, we say he's gonna have, you know, a struggle, but but have a, a chance with that. Right now he's majorly struggling to get air in and out. Um, I'm glad but it's, it's uh, just a matter of keeping them until their body can correct it. You know, they can spontaneously pass away with those kind of things, no. but you know, the hope is that we keep them on oxygen and they're able to compensate. Yeah. Um, and it, so, I mean, those are kind of our options. You know, we're looking without doing a lot of excess stuff at like $1,500. Run away back to the pet hospital for our LVCA. baby, LVCA. Um, they said he's still turn in up. critical condition. I hope he's doing better. Life. Yeah, so hopefully he's strong, guys. Everybody, please pray for our baby. Like, comment, subscribe. We love you guys. So we're back here in the doctor's office, guys. Waiting for the doctor to come in and let us know what's going on. He's probably gonna need 24 hours more of oxygen from what we do know, cause he's not doing too well. Um, this is crazy. It's yeah, it's a lot. We're going through a lot. So we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna listen. You might be in my pocket, guys. Um, I was talking with Dr. Zuniga, our hospitalist, you know, that helps with all these kind of inpatient critical kind of cases. You know, our biggest fear is probably when we hit that 24 hour mark. So tonight, you know, 24 hours after the, the initial problem, since we're not, haven't improved yet, because once we hit about 24 hours, there's only so long that he can keep this up. I mean, that takes a lot of work to breathe like that. You know, eventually his muscles are gonna tire to the point of the pain. game. Not so much pain per se, is just struggling to breathe. They said there's a 50-50 chance he'll survive. It's gonna cost another thousand dollars for overnight and for whatever treatments he needs tonight. And it's still not even a guarantee that he's gonna make it. <laughs> so maybe like when I come tomorrow, I should know more. You're we'll welcome. be back, y'all. Love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. 
So we're on our way back to go see my baby Capone at the hospital. Um, we're not supposed to be recording in there, but I'm gonna try to get a little bit of video of him in the oxygen tank so you guys can see our baby. I know that you guys pretty much got him with us, so you know it's only fair to show you guys what he's going through. Um, he still has a 50-50 chance. He hasn't really improved too much at all, really. It's still like the same. Um, just keeping him in prayers, that's all, y'all. I believe in miracles, so I'm just hoping for a freaking miracle, okay? Anyways, I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll let you know when we get there. So we're here, walking in now. The hospital for my baby. He's still breathing so heavy. Look how he's breathing. Hmm. It's okay, you don't want me to leave? Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, show his breathing. I honestly don't even want to be videoing right now, but it's almost 11 o'clock and I just got the call that Capone is probably about to flatline. I need to be there and I just, I'm trying to hurry up. Come on guys, buckle him up. Please God, I'm praying that he's okay. I'm praying that a miracle happens, I don't know. I just hope when he sees me, something will change. But he said his heartbeat is, his heartbeat's going. I don't know guys. We did everything that we could. His little body, it was just one of those things that the trauma, would, it was a freak accident in a crazy situation. Yeah, so, yeah. I know, baby. And so, oh, baby. You know, just oh, baby. trying to breathe so hard that you just, it just exhausted his little heart. Mm -hmm. well, well, you guys have some time to visit him. So we're gonna oh, sorry. Go, no, 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 you're okay. okay. We're gonna go ahead and see that way you can take all your time and visit with him, and, and we'll come back and check on you, okay? You guys, um, I lost my baby today. <sighs> Yesterday, when I was talking to the doctor, he told me that, um, I should probably put a DNR which is do not resuscitate on Capone because the condition that he was in, if they would try to resuscitate, it could hurt him more. And I struggled with that decision like so hard. <laughs> I struggled to make that decision. But I signed it because I didn't want to put him through any more pain. And, you know, as soon as I signed it, I kind of felt like I was making the wrong decision. And then I lost him the same day. I, I feel like I know he could have been hurt. And I, and I wouldn't want him more hurt. But I feel like giving someone a chance is better than them not fighting a hurt. He, he could fight through her after, you know. But if he's not alive, he can't do anything. I love you guys. Later.